Let's record. All Got right. it. <laughs> Perfect. So again, thank you so much. Um, so I guess the one main thing the kids were all asking is just how are you doing with everything? No, I feel a lot better than before than before the war started. Like I was happy and when the war started, I just I just lost myself to be honest. Because uh, it's I woke up around seven AM and uh, I'm calling my mom and she told like the war started. Our our airports are bombed, so you know that's that's well, maybe that's one of the worst days in my life. Did yeah. you just wake up to like a lot of like yeah. messages and stuff? Yeah, a lot of messages on Instagram. I like what like I I didn't know what is going on. Then my girlfriend of my friends called him like in Ukraine is war. I didn't believe that. I called my mom and she told me like. Yes, that's true. We are got bombed. Our, we because we live close to airport, and the first thing that Russian bombed that was airport. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. And that's crazy. And yeah. But I feel better now because Ukrainian actually winning, mm -hmm. winning right now. Yeah, Russian. They told like they will take Kyiv in three hours and two. In and whole Ukraine in, in two days, but they are fighting for one month and they could and they can't do anything. That's there. the thing that surprised me the most was I mean listening to our um, leaders here and around the world like our president and stuff like that they were saying they thought that Ukraine would fall within two or three um, days. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't believe us neither. I didn't believe neither. I was like. Oh my God! It's like I will have no passport, passports, like no, my home, nothing, because Russian will bomb everything, and there will be a Russian government in Ukraine. But it's fine now. We still have our president. We still have yeah. our soldiers yeah. who are really defend Ukraine. Really amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, one thing I think, and we talked about this on Instagram that I told my students is it's similar to you guys are fighting for your freedom and your independence. Yeah. And it's similar to the American Revolution, where Britain, for us, they were very, very strong, much stronger than the United States, had a bigger military, um, more weapons and all that. But we're fighting for independence and freedom, and they're just oh. fighting for a king who's telling them to That's fight. Like, it was, uh, wait, I don't remember when it was, it was 17... I mean, your independence war was a long yep. time ago, yeah. but that sucks when we see it in nowadays. Like yes. in, in 2022, we countries still have a war for their independence when we, can, we have diplomacy, like we can speak to people. And, right, you know, yeah, to see yeah. A, a, a country go into another sovereign country and try and take over in 2022 is just... It's crazy, that's... It is, it's unheard of. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, so obviously I told the kids about how, you know, your parents, you, you're you from Irpin, right? Yeah, Irpin. Yeah. Say, yeah, so which is right outside of the capital, Kiev, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, beat outside. Yeah. yeah. Um, how did they get out of there? Like how many days did it take? What was their experience with that? Oh, my, uh, okay. So first of all, I left uh, Ukraine. Uh, with my dad so uh, on mom <coughs> sorry my mom was in uh, uh, in Irpin yeah when the war started and um, she was there about week a week after war started like after a week she left but uh, uh, when the war started uh, our uh, our city wasn't bombed yet, wasn't bombed yet. But uh, after two or three days, they start bombing our um, our roads, uh, people, you know, schools. Like uh, they bombed two schools in my in my city. And when it started, my mom decided to left. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy she left the country. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's like if she stayed, some people are staying there now, but there is really a hard situation right now because uh, they bombed from another site 
of uh, European and uh, people got evacuation, you know, mm. and there is uh, two, uh, so, so you have to say, like, there is not a lot of people right now. Yeah. You know. Because, um, of course, I mean, I know, especially in Mariupol, it's really, really Mariupol, bad. Mariupol, that's really hard, but it's, it's Yeah, terrible. it's hard to watch that on TV, knowing that it's been weeks since they've had food and water and the Russians keep taking the supplies and not allowing anything in. It's hard to watch that. And, you know, the bombing of the maternity hospital um, and seeing all that's of that. Terrible. It's terrible. Um so that's absolutely crazy. Um, something that my students were also wondering is if you know anyone still in Ukraine and if anyone is fighting that you know. Uh, from my family is uncle and grandma in Kharkov. I've been here. That's really, that's another hard city in Ukraine. But Ukrainian soldiers didn't give it to Russian. They just bombed it. There is nothing now. They just bombed it because they couldn't take it. So they decided to bomb it. Uh, and a few of my friends from my European, all of my friends, because I didn't talk a lot of time with them, they are fighting right now. Yeah. So. Yeah, because I know um, President Zelensky had put in place um, martial law, which made it if you were between 18 and 60, I yes. believe it was, right? A male, you had to stay. And you have to stay, but you don't have to go to war because right. if you don't, you didn't have any experience, you, can, you couldn't take the gun or you can fight in, you just stay if this event happened, then, then uh, Ukrainian soldiers will need you to help, like, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, there's other things that people can be doing there besides fighting directly with the Russians, yeah. right? Like, I know there's a lot of people that are, I mean, I've seen images and videos of even like, like kids making uh, Molotov yes. cocktails and, yeah, and making netting and stuff to hide and just any way any citizens can help. Uh, there's like grandmothers <laughs> out there doing stuff like that. Yeah. In some ways they help our army, like they give our motivation. So we give motivation when we share to Russian people Material news because they have propaganda. They just they blocked Instagram, Facebook, and many other applications so they can see the truth. They are say like Russian about to take whole Ukraine, but in 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 say in real time, yeah. real life, that's not true. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's a lot of of course propaganda, and they only get the news that their government is showing them, right? Unless they have a VPN, a way to access yes. the outside right. world. Um, and I know especially a lot of the older Russians, they don't use the VPN, so they only see what the government uh, They is. only use TV. They only use and listen to news. Yeah. And so they're just getting all of the lies and all of the propaganda. And I've heard stories. I don't know if you know anyone that this maybe has happened to, but... I've heard stories about people who live in Ukraine calling family in Russia and saying, yes, this is what's happening and they don't believe them. And they don't believe. They're just like, no, you're lying. That's, <laughs> you're just sick. You're, yeah, it, it's, that's, that's crazy to me. No words. No how comments. you don't believe your own family and you believe yeah. the government. That's wild. Um, do you have any family or friends in Russia or from Russia or... Is it all from Ukraine, really? My parents definitely have. Okay. From Russia. And uh, I don't. I actually don't because I don't know. Like, the war is not first year, you know. Yeah. Eight years war, but it was in two regions, like two states. I would say two states. But now it's they try to take all Ukraine. But mm -hmm. uh, I don't have any friends in Russia. But my parents do, and they call them, and they... Like they was close to what you say, like they don't believe us. Like maybe no, maybe not, not so bad. Maybe just a bit. Like, like exaggerating. Yes, exa yes, exactly. So that's, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, it seems like obviously there are some Russians that know what's happening, right? There have been protests, mm -hmm. but some people are afraid because I think they're saying they're arresting people for like you could go to jail for fifteen years just for. Yeah. Saying you're against the war. The wars when new generation believe Russian government, that's bad. Because old people, they like to be honest, they will die in a few years. Like <laughs> let's be honest, right? Yeah. But 
young uh, people will live in their country, so they have to work for their independence. Even they, even if they are in independence right now, they have still to uh, fight for this because because their government is something terrible. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I saw the video that um, your government released yesterday where they were comparing side by side uh, World yeah. War II with the Nazis and um, what's going on now with yes. Russia. Because, and it's very powerful. Because the best thing is our government talk to people. Like they talk what is going on. If we have anything bad, they tell us. They some some okay I, I can't say everyone is great but some are trying to lie but we try to get them out from ukraine because we don't need this government yeah 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 i mean the whole argument that putin was using was all oh, the uh ukrainian government's full of nazis but it makes no sense <laughs> also because your president is jewish I'm exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It, that's it doesn't make but they don't sense. believe they don't believe he is Jewish, they just like no, that's lie. That's still lie. Ukrainian are liars. So. Yeah, it, it's just all of the misinformation, right, and fake news and and stuff like that. Um, which kind of leads me to this question. So obviously, President Zelensky's become a hero around the world. Um, he's yes. now one of my favorite heroes in all of history. Like I think too. he's right up there next to George Washington for me, which is yeah. a big deal. You know, another guy who stayed with his his. Everyone uh, knows him right now, so that's yeah. great. And I know he has like that unconventional background, right? Coming up, not as a politician, but as an actor and comedian. And yes, um, exactly. And then pivoting to become this great hero on the world stage. And the kids want to know, do you guys love him as much as we all do here? Um, to be honest, before the war, it was half, half. Like some people liked him, some people didn't like him. But <clears throat> right now, everyone likes him. Yeah. Everyone. Maybe are some some who tells like he is bad but they left our country so they don't know what is going on mm -hmm. yeah yeah i had seen that there was a lot of mixed i know when he got elected he mm -hmm. got like 73 percent of the vote which is for our country that's unheard of like nobody wins by that much in our country but um then it dropped significantly over time into the 20 percent yeah. um but you know it was uh, really Mm, truly uh, 73 percent for example in belarus lukashenko won around uh, 18 percent versus to 20 but it was just a life for people in, it was in 2020 2020 yeah, yeah. 2020, yeah. but yeah. Uh, there is uh, because my family voted for him mm -hmm. i know friends who voted for another president but another president didn't do anything good for our country they right. was corruption yes like yeah. Yeah. A lot of the corruption stuff I know. So after, you know, starting to see, you know, who Zelensky was and stuff, um, my husband and I started, we Netflix put back his TV show, Servant of the yes. People. <laughs> and it has, you know, the English subtitles, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to see, understand anything. And it was interesting to see kind of how he is in that show to how he is in real life and being very like anti corruption yeah. and. You know, even he made a movie uh, like his president. Did you hear about it? Yes, I've heard about it. I have not watched it yet. I have to find it on YouTube with subtitles, I think. Oh, yeah, that's great to watch it. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, so that's another one I want to see. And everybody said he's very similar to how he yes. was. That's how he runs as president. He had a lot of motivation to make uh, people happier. Not, not only on show, but in real life. You know. Yeah, he seems he always... very down to earth and approachable yes. because he has family he know how to love you like what i said before she loves ukraine she truly loves her. even he's not fully ukrainian but he yeah. loves ukraine as ukrainian yeah, yeah you can definitely tell do you think he's been um handling the war well or do you think he should be doing more or anything uh different? if uh, to be honest if uh, nato help us or other country not just giving weapon or something if nato closed the sky, the sky. Mm -hmm. yeah the sky that would be because if he, uh, people just allow him but don't help him like a lot i mean i'm not talking about uh, just people i talk about government yes yeah you know hungary still buy country to country still buy yeah. uh, gas and um, oil from russian 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, they give money and uh, Russian for this money uh, actually keep, kill Ukrainian kids, uh, women, men, and yeah. yeah. That was one thing I was happy when our government decided to stop buying the stop, oil yes. and gas. I because know you're, it, because you say have this, have this oil even more than Russia now because yes. they can't. Yeah, and Russia is still alive because she gave to our our country mm-hmm. oil, but now we, they can so. Right. So that helps. And I know there's a lot of frustration in our country. We have a lot of inflation right now. And um, our gas gas prices have gone up quite a bit. I mean, a couple months ago, they were like the low threes and now they're over four dollars. So people have, you know, been upset about that. But my arguments always kind of been like, I don't care if we stop buying gas from Russia, I would rather pay higher prices than give Russia money to kill yeah, because you can't buy gas, but you can buy lives. Yes, exactly. That's a great way to think about it, honestly. And um, I know with Western Europe, especially, they they rely on a lot of Russian gas, and so it's very yeah. Difficult they need for it. Them. They avoid it from. They need to addict, find a better addict. way. I yeah. think. Yeah. It's very difficult. So, but um, what is your plan if this is something the kids are asking if? You're in Poland right now, obviously, for school. And do you and your family have a plan for if, for some reason, God forbid, I hope not, if this spilled over into Poland? Like if war starts in uh, Poland? Yeah, if for some reason, Russia gets crazy <laughs> and to start, you know, going into oh. Poland and stuff. Do I don't know if I will plan? live. I don't know if I will live because I live a bit... Uh, I'll... Wait, wait, wait. Like... I have uh, 200 ki- kilometers from border, mm-hmm. and if they attack Poland, I think NATO, NATO will help yes. Poland. I think. I so think because, so. Yeah, because you know how it war how it was in uh, in twenty in Saudi nine, like when uh, Germany attacked Poland, they have a deal with uh, England and France, but they didn't help them. No. I hope now the NATO will help. Yes, yes, I think it, we would have to. I mean, with Article 5, our president was speaking this morning when I woke up, I turned on the news and he was meeting with uh, Duda, the president yeah, of uh, the prime minister of Poland. I think I think Russia will not attack because they can't took Ukraine. They can't just, they, they can't handle Ukraine. They can't take all Ukraine. So they will try to attack uh, uh, Poland. It makes no sense for them. Yeah, I don't think they will either. Um, and I know Putin has just changed his plans from yeah. trying to take over the government and remove Zelensky to, we're just going to liberate the Southeast um, yes. of the country. Do you think President Zelensky will make a deal and let them have that area to end the war? Or no, we will take our cream, cream area, like the ice island, island, yeah. Yeah, uh, and the two states, what was in Russian government, will take them back, and then the war will start. Uh, they will finish. Yeah, Only that's then. because Ukrainians are ready for fighting. Ukrainian wants to take their area, their territory back. So, Mr. Zelensky will not just give give up. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought is like, that is Ukrainian territory, right? C- Crimea, okay. and the Donbass, and um, Russia illegally annexed the areas eight years ago. And yeah. I think, yeah, I think that it seems like he's not willing to give them that, like, too bad, you know, um, which I respect because it is your territory at the end of the day. Um, what are your favorite memories of Ukraine? Uh, I have a lot of memories, like when I travel with my parents, every, 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 okay, I would say, if not corruption in our country, Ukraine could be so rich and so amazing country, but unfortunately, our government made it so bad and poor, to be honest, so that's, maybe that's one of the reasons why I left Ukraine three years ago, as many people here, but we have really great mountains, we have great two seas, so great people, very uh, kind to everyone, not from Russian, of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. No, so Ukraine is great. I had a lot of memories with my friends, with my schoolmates, because I left. Uh, I was living in for when I left for uh, 15 years mm-hmm. or 16 years. I live only in Ukraine. Then I decided to go to Poland, but I begged for Ukraine. Yeah, 
but it wasn't I was I wasn't whole time there I was in Poland then when it started coronavirus I back to came home because we had uh, uh, learning like yeah everyone so at in, home yes online yeah. learning. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> so <laughs> so I had a lot of memories and my favorite is maybe when I had 10 years old my birthday when we went with my family to Seattle was in great we saw sunrise oh wow that's yeah that was the see a sunrise that's something crazy I that's remember awesome. that. yeah that's a nice yeah. memory um has there always kind of been problems or I guess tension between Russians and Ukrainians like your whole life that you remember or is that as, a new new thing to be honest as you, you are a history teacher so you you do know only American or a whole? History? I know a lot of other stuff as well, but my specialty is definitely American. And I know okay, there's I know, I know. tension yeah. between but the two. But Russian always try to write for Ukraine. They always try to take Ukrainian territory. So uh, before the war started, uh, like in 2013 year, mm -hmm. Ukrainian wasn't like Russian, but they didn't take like, they didn't care of, of them. They're just like our neighbors. Right. That's fine. Some people had to have family there. So they may maybe have good ships there. But uh, <laughs> after the war started, it, it uh, gets worse. Mm -hmm. Get worse for everyone who lives there because we didn't expect Russian will attack us, take our territory. And then we wasn't like them but the real world started like in every in every city in ukraine then we hate them that's not like i like or don't we hate them yeah no i mean it makes sense when you're being attacked yeah. by a foreign when country they kill our kids our women they bombed our city so that's very difficult Do i you think uh, we'll not forgive them yeah. Maybe new generation we will forgive, but I don't think you will ever forget. I don't think Ukraine will, will not ever forget, forget and not what forgive. Has happened. No. Um, do you think NATO should be doing more? Do you think we should be closing the skies over Western Ukraine? Yes, close the skies is really important right now because in the, when we have fighting uh, on land, mm -hmm. Ukrainians uh, is, uh, actually win. Russian because we bombed so their tanks, their everything. But they, when they just bombed us, bombed our city, they just destroyed our everything in Ukraine. So that's bad. I think if NATO could close, to be honest, I think NATO is afraid. They I agree. They, they don't want to risk for, I don't know, a world like, war with nuclear weapons. Yes. Yes. I, I don't think Putin will use nuclear uh, weapon, but the fact he has it make him think like I'm I'm the best and uh, you should agree with me what I said. You should take a deal with me. Yeah. My rule is, yeah. I think it's kind of, and I've talked to my students about this, he is holding the world hostage because yes, exactly. he has nuclear weapons and threatens to use them if anyone else gets involved and you know the other governments are afraid afraid to, of if what if he does right what if he does because everyone understands he's crazy everyone yes. understood it he's Absolutely. crazy and that's the he's, thing we don't know even, what he will do yeah he's even worse than hitler because you Hitler is worse than Hitler. Yes, I I think so because Hitler um, has an idea, but Putin has no idea. They just want to take oh. Ukraine and what's what's then take whole Europe. He doesn't he doesn't have a plan. Mm -hmm. He just like oh I will attack Ukraine. Let's go. So Why it not? makes him kind of more dangerous because more of that. dangerous because he's crazy. Hitler didn't have nuclear plan we opened. Right. But he, he, he has. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't even think of that. But yeah, it's like he is more way more unstable than unstable Hitler. And, yeah. 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 Um, I mean, I know a lot of people I am in favor of closing the sky. Um, I know a lot of people in our government are. It's very split though, um, because of the 
the nervousness of nuclear weapons and you know all of that the the idea of it's not the closing the sky it's enforcing it right if a russian mm -hmm. jet comes in we have to shoot it down and then obviously that would be a direct confrontation and i'm hoping more will be done but it's really really hard obviously um, um if there was anything you could say to putin the kids want to know what would you if you had a moment to talk to putin and say anything you wanted to or the russian people that believe his lies what would you say oh it makes no sense to tell them anything because they will not believe me if i tell them anything they will, will believe to their government uh did you hear about russian uh worship yes the go go I, I would say same i would say say same words to everyone and for yeah. putin as well yeah. no i mean i totally understand that because like you said there's a lot of hate there and anger and yes. uh, yeah i understand that for sure um what are things that like my students and just normal U u.s citizens like myself we're not in government what can we do to help support you guys more just being normal citizens oh i don't know because it's so far away from you and i don't know what we could do maybe share the true like don't believe to fake and teach right and study right now from our history don't make same mistakes as russian do never like not never but don't believe what you see in tv but what's like in real life what we have and uh, i don't know like to be honest yeah i don't know what you can do just take a lesson from our nowadays mm -hmm. yeah and you know some of the stuff i know president zelensky the other night was asking people around the world to you know protest or you know demonstrate their support for ukraine to get the governments to do more um but you know like uh, i don't know what is in your country does the government cares of you but in russian they will even if you have demonstrate any demonstration they will not stop putin yeah. will not stop just they will uh, gave more soldiers in ukraine they will die already died around uh, 16 thousand yeah of, but that's not finally not, not final uh, number of deaths in Ukraine. There yeah, might so far, yeah, more. this morning, what six sixteen thousand Russian soldiers for months for one month. One, one month. month. That's way more than they lost in Afghanistan. Yeah, Afghanistan that's, in Chechnya in other. Yeah. That yeah. it's crazy. Um, and our government, they. I would say you definitely have some people who listen and pay attention when citizens are protesting and demonstrating, but that doesn't necessarily mean they'll do what we want them to do. That's great because uh, from the one side that support for us, we feel the world is with us. And for one side, then you like you are so far away, we can't help us physically, you know. And, like, right, exactly. And yeah. you know, you and I both talked about that earlier this week. Is like I feel like I need to do more. Like I would love to just go over there and grab a weapon or something, but I can't fight. I don't yeah, because you're far far away, and yeah. that's risk for your life for everyone alive. They right. So it's a matter <laughs> of I think also donating when we can to the Ukrainian army and you know stuff for refugees and and whatnot, I think makes the most sense for us here. And to just give that support and not believe the lies that are coming out of Russia on the internet, on social media, it's a lot on social media. It's difficult. Um, so let me see, there's, these kids had so many questions. It's crazy. Yes, like, I, I, I read them. Yeah. And I even like condensed some of them too. And I'm like, oh but my that, goodness. That's interesting question. That's really good. Kids are interested in it, this situation. They just not ignore it. Like in yeah. other countries, they, that's great. Yeah, they definitely care. They definitely support you guys there. Um, some of them, many of them did not understand the history between Russia and yeah. Ukraine, of course. Um, so, you know, after I explain that to them, they start to get an idea. Even some people didn't know where is Ukraine before. Yes, before. many That's, people did not. Like, where is <laughs> Ukraine? But after <laughs> the war started. Yeah, now knows. everybody knows the Central European map. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's central. That's it. There is war. That's yeah. 
that's something crazy. Yep, most people just knew before, like, okay, like England, France, like Western Europe, and now it's like, hold on, <laughs> there's a lot more. There's there. something else. Yes, oh, <laughs> there sure yeah. is. Um, are you planning on going back to Ukraine to help rebuild or to fight or anything at any point? I don't know. Uh, I told my parents, if you don't exist, like if my parents doesn't ex don't exist, I would go to fight. But I have to pair of them. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm only one. I don't have any siblings. Right. That's the question there. Yeah. I don't have any siblings there. Uh, they have only me. So I should protect them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So but it if I doesn't make sense. Yeah. But if the, I would, I, if I didn't have them or since yeah, I, will, I will go i would stay and i will stay in my city because that's my country that's my land and i have to defend it yeah uh well we'll back yes we will back my family wants to back my family want, want to back in ukraine i want to back uh, this summer as well but i don't know how it's horrible like the worst thing is there is our cat like yes. i told you the cat. He's, the kids have been asking about the cat. Can you tell us the cat's name again? Uh, Loa. 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 Yeah, and that's kind of lying in our language. So, yeah. and he's still there. But uh, there is our neighbor who pet them. Uh, they are um, who fed their um, uh, animals, right? Okay. But uh, he didn't see our cat yet. Oh, he no. gave him food in our uh, our house, right? But he mm -hmm. didn't see him. Oh no! My yeah, mom couldn't upset. take him. Yeah, my mom couldn't take him because when was the evacuation? Uh, Russia started bombed our city, and she was so afraid, and he ran away from there. And she didn't. He, she couldn't wait for him. When he back, he just left the city because it was so dangerous there. Yeah. yeah, that's so sad. Yeah, the kids are really hoping for a yeah. happy ending. Because that. that's part of our family. That's family, yes, of and course. Yes, he, he may understand. Like they left me, so cats are smarter than some people. <laughs> yes, they are. I think yeah. so too. Yeah, <clears throat> I have a cat as well, so I can't imagine having to be in that situation, but obviously your mom she had to she had to leave right she she couldn't yeah. wait and um did your mom have to see did your mom see any of the fighting or any of like the destruction on her way out of ukraine uh, she recorded the when bomb was dropped she wow. recorded the sound yeah oh, but God. when she was in a car in in a bus i would say uh, there was another Ukrainian city they was riding and then Russian soldiers and Ukrainian soldiers start fighting. They shoot and thanks God they didn't shoot uh, their bus, like buses, they just shoot between them, you know. Oh my God. And the, I, one, she saw that one our soldiers died, but um, they, our soldiers killed their Russian because they our has be, better positions than mm -hmm. uh, Russian. So she, she saw it. That's, that's, that's really terrible. hard. Yeah. How is she dealing with that? Because that's very traumatic to witness something yeah. like that. Is she OK? Know, she's, she's still crying about the cat. Like mm -hmm. I and she wa she wants to back in Ukraine, but she can. A few times we uh, they my mom even have an argument with my dad and me to back in Ukraine because she saw like in Ukraine in our city is okay, but I it's don't know. still dangerous. It's just dangerous, yeah. so dangerous right now because our city was in fire. It's still in yeah. fire. Yeah. I remember the picture you sent me, and I think yesterday they said they were able to take back eighty percent of RP, yeah. um, but it's not a hundred percent safe. Yeah. So. They are still there, and who knows uh, if they will attack if they attack right uh, again. Right. So, yeah, it's yeah. too dangerous. But I can understand that. I mean, she wants to go back home. They're staying with you at your dorm, right? Mm -hmm. Is that no, different? no, wait, no, no, oh, no, no. She, not. she's not. She's not. She, she, and my dad are in hostel. Oh, okay. Like there is a family who take them oh, for good. for a week. Then they will go to another country in europe kind of germany or something 
okay. they will have a apartment there or i i didn't ask them uh, especially about it but i know she, they will left okay yeah, so they'll Poland. have so but they still have to keep moving a little bit yeah they oh, keep moving because that's very difficult i can't imagine and they they want to go back after the they war want to break break and... after the war but we all need to make sure that russia will not attack us again after right. the peace yeah yes that i think is the biggest that people are worried about is any deal that's made with russia how do we know they aren't lying and yeah. go back to get strong again and then do yeah. it again right and i think that's what your president is trying to make deals with or alliances with some other countries for security in case russia decides to do this again if nato take ukraine like in an uh, alliance like if ukraine will would be in uh, nato the, russia will not attack because russia is afraid of nato yes that's, I agree. that's true they tell like no nato is nothing usa is bad we are better than the usa but it's, as we see they even can take ukraine who is smaller than their country yeah i don't in, think they could take 30 or 31 if ukraine goes yeah. to 31 countries is not gonna happen yeah. no definitely not um so that yeah i agree with you um they talk a lot but they talk a lot but do talk. nothing yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> Do you exactly. do you think that Ukraine's going to win this? Yeah, I think I believe it. Yeah. And until like when we believe it, it will work. When we don't believe, when we don't have any hope, we'll just give up and yeah. Yeah, you guys have very strong morale. Morale. Um, inspir yeah. It's inspirational because I I say this. I don't. I can't imagine our country unfortunately right now rallying like this like with average citizens doing so much to help the war effort it's just hard for me to imagine here that occurring um so it's really cool to see the bravery and just the i guess the camaraderie of the ukrainians um working together with yes. this. like um, actually putin united us yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think, and yeah. do you know what? I think he united a lot of the world too. He yeah. actually hurt himself more by doing yeah. this because our country had a lot of political divisions before this as well that maybe you know about. We were very divided with our previous presidents and stuff and up through now. And this has brought people on all sides of politics together um, to support that's Ukraine. That's true. So that makes it really really interesting to see the difference um do let me see i'm trying to think Look, there's a, so many quite i'm like trying to flip through all of these different questions what is something that like keeps you hopeful and motivated when i see uh us our ukrainian soldiers uh destroy uh, russian tanks or and just russian soldiers who go here and who uh, kill civilian like just people kids mothers and other when i see that when i see how many uh everything how many everything russia lost for this war like tanks uh, planes uh, mm -hmm. warships uh, and other uh, then i believe we can take it because they lose but we get from nato from other country we get we upon but they lose they yeah. can make it because they have sanctions you know i mean like mm -hmm. for their company for their uh, military company that can make they can project uh, new weapon so they use uh, old from even from stalin times yes <laughs> yes and then i know <laughs> I, my favorite thing i think i've been seeing is like the the ukrainian farmers taking yeah it's taking <laughs> That was, wasn't actually farmers, but wait, let, let me translate it because I'm not sure. Yeah, please, no problem. Um, there is a nationality in Ukraine. Gypsy, mm -hmm. uh, uh, wait. Gypsy? Gypsies, okay. Gypsies, Gypsies. yeah, they, yeah. they take uh, uh, two tanks, and uh, that's so crazy, it's so funny that. Uh, second army in the world and just so, yes yeah, so uh, yeah seeing that like you know just seeing these people 
towing away in tractors, tanks, yeah. and stuff. I'm just That's funny. So funny to see something to bring a smile to people's faces, you know. And um, yeah. it's almost like Russia is providing you guys with weapons too, because yes. stuff behind. <laughs> <laughs> they give us the weapon. But they didn't know they give us. No, yet. no, they didn't. Yeah. I mean, because Putin said, and the uh, Russian government said they that Ukrainian will wait for them with flowers. With right. uh, yes, Russian are here. We are was waiting for you. Like liberation. Our, yeah, liberation. But it's, it's not doesn't true. happen. It no, doesn't happen. Yeah. No, I think. And now many Russian soldiers, because your soldiers, many of them volunteer to do this. Mm -hmm. Their soldiers are conscripts. They're forced by their government to, to fight. And they get to Ukraine, it seems, and they're like, oh my God, I didn't know we were supposed to be doing this. We're killing civilians. And it's yeah. their morale is very low, right? They have, um, from what I've understood, the supply lines are really bad. They're running out of food, fuel. Yeah, when they don't have any food, they rob Ukrainian uh, houses when people have them. So it's dismoral them. They have no morale now. So they just lost or go to Ukrainian soldiers and say like, I will not, I will, ju I just give up because mm -hmm. I can fight. Yeah, you know? I've seen many, yeah. many of them have been surrendering, right? And they get, good treatment decent treatment by your government they treat them mm -hmm. as prisoners of war you know they follow the geneva convention and don't abuse right. them um which is very different from i've heard um i don't know how true this is so maybe you can correct me i've heard reports of people being evacuated from mariupol but being forced into russia into camps um, yes that's true uh, uh some people from Melit uh, melitopo Okay, uh, Melitopol, that's where it is. Yeah. Yes, uh, the, they uh, just Russian took take uh, took uh, took uh, Ukrainian kids and just uh, kidnap. Um, kidnap, yeah, kidnapping women. They just take women and uh, how to say to, um, like, wait, they just rob yes. people, rob yeah. people from Mariupol and uh, go with them to Russia. Yeah, and I, you know what I mean. They're saying camps and stuff, and it makes me think of you know ho the Holocaust, World War Two, yeah, concentration that's, camps. Yeah, so that's in some way that's some same like Holocaust. It's scary because we don't know what they're doing to the people in the camps, right? Yeah, we if, can see them, we can do them because you can't. They are in their them. country, so yeah. Yeah, and that's very scary. So yeah, I had heard that. I had heard it was true. I see more reports, but yeah, so it sounds like that. That is the case, yeah. which is, I think your president has been demanding their release, right? But Russia- Many works. Russian soldiers make a fake evacuation of people. Like uh, in my uh, in my city, it was still fake evacuation. Mm -hmm. Like they, they tried to evacuate people, mm -hmm. but they just want to uh, go with them to Russia. But uh, our government in my city, they sell it now that's fake, don't, don't believe them. So yeah, yeah they tried to make it, but they can't because we know about it. Right. Yes, of course. And I think being able to have that information to tell people, you know, that's important. Of course, there's going to be some people that don't believe it, but that you can't change some people's minds, unfortunately. We can't, unfortunately. Yeah, that's true. Do you, I know the big thing that a lot of our government's talking about in NATO is the use of chemical or tactical nuclear weapons in Ukraine. Do you think Putin will get desperate and resort to maybe? Chemical? Maybe he will try to use chemi chemical weapon, but not about nuclear because no. he understands. Maybe he he doesn't care about people. Everyone understands this. He doesn't care. A Russian believes that he cares, but yeah, everyone understands he doesn't care about people, so he can use uh, the nuclear weapon, but if he wills, then USA, France, uh, England, and other countries will use for Russia. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it will be the end of our existence. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, yeah, it's mutually assured destruction. That's the end of, that's what I tell my students not to scare them, but the reason we're being very careful yeah, is we're because the nuclear weapons 
that will be it for everyone. Yeah. It's dangerous. So um, maybe he will use biology, weapon, chemistry, right. because he doesn't care about people, about their people, about our people. They just use them like chess, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, like yeah. To play a game. Pawns, with them. Yep. Yeah, point and then. Just pieces of a puzzle or a game and yeah. not real human beings. And I think that's my fear is I, I get scared that as he's losing to the Ukrainians, because you guys are kicking his butt, <laughs> that yeah. he is going to get desperate and to show he's strong. He has Jesus. already been a targeting civilians, right? He says, no, no, we haven't. But the world sees he's bombing hospitals, the theater where it says children in Russian. Yes, outside. exactly. I mean, he, he, I think, is doing this to try and get your government to uh, capitulate, to surrender. Yes, right? that's kind of manipulation for him. Yes, absolutely. But it seems that your government is strong in their mind and their heart saying, we're not going to do this because you're being a bully, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't yeah. think your people, Ukrainians, do not want the government to give Putin what he wants, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I get worried that he will go to chemical or biological weapons to try and get what he wants more by killing more innocent civilians. Yeah. And, whew, it's scary to think about that because he said, like, if I can't take Kiev, I can take Ukraine, then I will just kill people. Kill people. Take more and from the situation. It's yeah, not everything. everything. But Russia, Russia will pay for it. Everyone yes, knows will. Russia will pay. But not him, Russian. That's the, the problem is not him, Russian will pay for That's it. the so, problem, exactly, yeah. because you have normal Russians who they don't want this or whatever, right? But they are also being hurt by the war, right? Sanctions. Maybe yeah. they, they are not dying, but they might have their family members who are in, you know, soldiers being killed for fake. Yeah, but the, the problem is they don't show it that their soldiers are dead. Right. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. I think yesterday the Russians admitted to only like 1,500. Yeah, 1,000. And he, <laughs> it's time like, 16, right? It's over 16,000. That's, that's more than 16, I think. Yeah. And because so, he, uh, in Pentagon, in your, uh, your country says that's around 21,000. Yes, they just said that. So these families are going to start to look around and notice they can't get on the phone with their loved ones and say, where are they? And the Russians aren't even taking their bodies back. Yes, exactly. In my cities, uh, when my mom left and uh, our neighbors was staying there, they told they then went to, uh, to store to buy some food because we had them. Uh, and they're in streets uh, were, were just uh, Russian bodies. That's no crazy. one cleared them because because they they there's a lot do they them. do you think they do not care about the bodies or uh, ukrainian or russian uh, russians do you think the russians don't of, care of course about... they don't care russian that's you know how many people dies in when uh, in uh, second world War. yeah yeah millions yeah. millions from uh, how it was used as a sir the Stalin yeah, country. Yeah, yep, with uh, the Soviet Union, yep. So Soviet Union, there died around 20 million people. So they will never uh, care for people. That's, as I said before, that's only chess for them. It's only game for them. People it's, are just... It's yeah. terrible. And I know that, you know, especially down in the Southeast, Mariupol and all that, they're having to dig mass graves. Yes. for people that are dying and that again that's stuff you saw in world war ii and you're like how can this happen in 2022 yeah. and the worst thing is uh, russian people accept it they just accept it okay that's fine we have we don't have instagram okay i left before i was living without it so that's fine i will live we don't have facebook okay fine we don't have ikea or mcdonald's that's fine we'll we'll right. live without it and but they're not gonna have anything <laughs> yes they actually even if they have uh, only TV and uh, blank room, they will be happy because they have TV. And in TV are saying that we, we have the best country, we are better than America. So Yeah, you start yeah. to wonder when they might start, some of them wake up and say, 
why is every company leaving our country? Why is, you know? They think because uh, they, like, uh, companies try to destroy Russia. They think so. That's why they leave. They think it's like a conspiracy against yes. the Russian people. I guess the Russian people think so because the government, the TV, the news uh, tell them uh, that. Does it seem like to you that younger Russians are more aware of what's really happening and older Russians are more sucked into the propaganda? Or what do you think? I don't know because they have, I mean, I can't talk about them because I didn't see them because they have no Instagram, no Facebook, no TikTok. True. So yeah. I don't see them, what they are thinking. But uh, in some public uh, chats, some Russians, some young Russian like my age or younger are still like Russia, 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 go ahead. It's like Russia is the best because they don't understand what is going on. They hear from TV like Russia is the powerful country and they believe that because how how they can't just they think like tv can't lie to us because that's tv that's uh, all their people than us so they know what they are talking about yeah. yeah yeah that's difficult it's hard because it's frustrating you want to be angry at them but at the same time i understand why they think the way they do right and it may not be their fault it's because what they're being fed their whole life yeah, um, whole so, life propaganda. Yes, so it's very hard because again, I want to be angry at them, but I understand the. Because when for war started in twenty thirteen, mm -hmm. Russians start propaganda uh, everyone, and after eighty years of propaganda, yeah. they can't just believe uh, in true in tr they believe the propaganda because eight yeah. years you hear That's everything a long like time. yeah, a long time you hear only that Russian is good, Russian is the best. So that, I can't yeah. believe that that's not true. That's insane. Um, did you guys before, I mean, obviously the war has been going on for eight years, really. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. did you, I know right before Russia went into the rest of Ukraine mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> last month, the gov our government especially kept saying to President Zelensky, you know, we think they're going to invade. We think they're going to invade. And Zelensky, out when he was talking to other people in the world and to the country, was saying, like, everybody stay calm, um, you know. But I think Zelensky knows it because okay. they just calm people down because our soldiers was ready for it. Okay. If they didn't expect it, then Russia really to take True. Ukraine. But Zelensky just tried to calm down people and uh, it works because... Uh, uh, when it only started, when Russians starts to get more um, tanks uh, and soldiers to our borders from Belarus, Belarus and from uh, Russia, uh, when it only started, people had panic attacks, like and Zelensky yeah. tried to come down then. And when uh, America told us that Russia may attack us uh, uh, when it was in uh, 16th yeah. February. Yeah, February yeah. 16th. You had a National Day of Unity. I saw the yes, president post course. with his wife. Yes. He made it for us and to the and so we come down and 30 20 uh, what, 21st, 21. I left yeah. Ukraine. Right, yeah. And 23rd the war started. Right. My mom, to be honest, I didn't know how, but she was sure that Russian will attack us because then uh, many Many people, uh, many countries uh, took their diplomacy from Kiev, mm -hmm. their people, their families, and from they Kiev, to move them out. Yeah, yeah, to move to Lvov and from to back to Europe. And she told like, I know what it is, and I think Russia will attack, so we have to leave them, leave the country before it was around 14 mm -hmm. uh, February, right? Yep. And. I had school from 21, but she wanted me to left before uh, everything started. But we didn't listen to her. We say like, no, come down to be fine. Then we left and she stayed there. So mom is always mistake. right. Mom, yes, but moms are always right. <laughs> yeah. In this situation, she was yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Not in every, of course, but. Of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. But, but that is. That's yeah, that's tough because I know there was a lot of criticism of your president for trying to keep people calm, but I think that was his strategy is to, you know, yeah. show people that, you know, 
Ukraine is strong and not to panic. Uh, pres our president told us that believe in our army, army in our soldiers, because we are strong. So we are stronger than you think, that everyone see us. We are yes. stronger. And he was right. He so was right. right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like we said at the beginning, you know, everyone else was saying three days, two or three days. Yeah, my teacher told us, uh, Oleg, you understand that Russia will write for Ukraine in three days. So what do you think you will do in the future? And in a week, in a week, she uh, she was like, she, she told me, like, forgive me. Yeah. I wasn't, I expected that you're, you are Ukrainian are so crazy so to strong. defend. Yep. Yeah, so strong, so crazy to defend your lands. As I said, it will be in two days, it will end because you will not have your government or anything. Yeah. Yeah, but Russia will beat it, but no. No, yeah, you surprise Ukraine, surprise Everyone. the entire world, the entire world. Yeah. Everyone, Even Ukrainian was surprised as well. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. And I think that's been a big boost to your morale too. Is of course, when we started to help us because we always have like two, how to say, two Ukraine, like yeah, like, uh, left like, part and right part, yeah. Yes. And now they are united, uh, and people doesn't care if you are from Lvov, if you speak Ukrainian or Russian, they don't care because they are all Ukrainian. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, they have only one plan to win Russia and to defend their lands and they want peace yeah, yeah. they want yeah it's yeah it's been so inspiring is um how has poland been supporting like our, our, well we know they're taking in many refugees i understand that yeah um, of course like millions um what about like your school do you have a lot of support like people know that you're from ukraine like uh first day when it started like the day before it started uh, my uh, classmates was kidding about its situation. Like uh, Ukraine will, in Ukraine will war. What you will do? You'll have nothing, no documents or something. But when it started, uh, everyone understood that's not fun anymore. Right. And uh, if Ukraine will give up, Poland will be next. Right. That's true. They are they are really was scared of it, and they start to take refuses take uh, people from ukraine well even if you don't have any passport or wow. something you can just move to poland and uh, polish family take ukrainian refuses just in their homes for example my um my friends she took a family who has uh, 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 father mm -hmm. mom grandma and four kids in wow. their home that's yeah. a lot of people in one home. That's a lot of people, but kids uh, are wasn't this age as me. They was young, just like yeah. ten years, seven, five, and yeah. That's incredible. Um, so it sounds like there's been a lot of support, which is good. Yeah, and in our school, we had Ukrainian songs. We have our oh, flag nice. of Ukraine in our school. So and so you uh, you know where is Krakow, right? Yep. In Poland, yeah. So I live close to there, and when I was in Krakow, there was uh, Ukrainian flags in every government, and in just when I like in every company, they had mm -hmm. Poland, uh, European, Europe, you, the uh, European Union, y yeah, the Poland, European yeah. Union flag and yep. uh, Ukrainian flag. That's awesome. Three flags. That's, That's fantastic. Support. Yeah, I'm seeing that around here too. That there's. Um, you know, more people are flying the Polish flag, or excuse me, yeah. the Ukrainian flags and stuff like that too. Um, and yeah, I think I it's had nice. A yeah, I have a friend from Tampa, from Florida, and uh, uh, one mom, like my friend, she's she sent me like their bridge mm -hmm. uh, was in Ukrainian flag, yep. like uh, blue and yellow. Yeah, or something crazy. Yeah, yeah, many of the buildings in our country are lighting up blue and yellow. I know in Boston, just a little ways away from me, that they've had some buildings lit up blue and yellow too to show support around the world, which I think is yeah. important because like you said, we're so far away, but to at least know that you've got people around the globe supporting you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. I think the last thing I wanted to ask you that the kids have been wanting, they want to know what you're studying in college and how do you manage going to school with all of this craziness happening? Uh, like while studying in college? Right? Yeah, I okay, think you first. said uh, 
you were doing like computer stuff, right? Yeah, web developing, web like front end, yeah. front end developer. But not exactly what I study. But uh, we have programming languages like C plus plus and others. Yep. But I don't like it because C plus plus is more math language than, <laughs> uh, for example, JavaScript, right? But we learn it. We study. We study for it, and I studied to be a programmer. Uh, and when the war started, I couldn't focus on my school. I just couldn't because I know I got bad uh, assessments. No one from our dorm, from even from my class, my class never studied, but especially, <laughs> <laughs> but especially when the war started, uh, teachers understood our situation. They didn't uh, give us any tests. Wow. Yeah. Any quizzes, quizzes, any tests, and they even didn't gave us bad assessment, but it was only one week. Then we, then I tried to back on, try to focus on school and see, it's okay I right know. That's good. Cause I figure sometimes it might be a good distraction, right? To have yeah. something else to focus on, but are you sleeping okay? Are you having trouble sleeping with everything? Uh, when I, because the most thing I was scared that's about my mom when, right. she, when she was there a week. One week I only, I, I slept, but it wasn't that good as before. Right. Yeah, we have uh, uh, turn, uh, turn on the news entry whole uh, night. We just, if anything bad happened, we'll know from news. Right. And yeah, a whole night uh, was just playing news. Yeah, being and, anxious, anxiety, yeah. right? And uh, when I even woke up because of some um, sirena, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? The sirena, yep. I woke up around 6 a.m. because I heard it from my from news. It was just show sirena in Kiev. Yeah, uh, I know. They, yeah, the sirens going and going. I just, yeah, yeah, I can't imagine. That's crazy. That's, That's scary. People hear it every day. A few times more before one hour or more, people are afraid to be bombed because, yeah. Yeah, because that's what it means, right? There's a bomb or missile incoming and you yeah. need to hide, right? You need to hide, and, but people can't hide the whole time. Right. Like after two weeks, they just don't care about the siren anymore. You get, it's, it's, it's crazy, but you get used to the siren, which yeah. is insane to think about, but. They're just live with it right now. Right. Unfortunately, that's true. Yeah. It, it's absolutely crazy. Many well, people can't understand the feeling until no. they will not there. Like if they, if they, like my mom talking to me and she she tried to explain it to me, but I don't feel I can understand it as she because she 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 was there. She yes. was there, she saw she it, there. she witnessed it. I heard I remember like um when I called her, uh I heard the plane was flying close to our house. It was really loud. And uh, uh how later I figured out that the plane uh, was bombed Kiev. I heard it. It was close because I live close to Kiev, mm -hmm. and they live from. Uh, they was flying from Belarus to Kiev and bombed it. Do you yeah. think Belarus is going to send troops to help Russia? They actually do because they gave their territory to Russian because right. Russian tanks are going from Belarus. And because... planes are flying <laughs> in from there. Exactly, because uh, Belarus is close to Ukraine, close to Kyiv, and there is way one, only one way how they can fast take, how they can fast take Kyiv that's only from Belarus. Right, and yeah. I know that Lukashenko, the leader of Belarus, he's basically, he's good friends with Putin. He just does whatever yeah. Putin wants him to do, right? Yeah. I think they but say, because, well, puppet. But <laughs> Belarus doesn't want the war, I know. Because I have a few uh, girls and boy from Belarus, they told they don't want the war. They and don't want the war. Many people from uh, from Belarus doesn't want the war, and if their uh, commanders tell them like go to Ukraine, go fight with Ukraine, they just give up. No, I will not. And, yeah. So maybe if they go, they say no, or if they go in, they just surrender to Ukraine. Yeah, immediately yes, they do that, and That's our soldiers doesn't kill them, and right. they 
yeah, because they don't want war, so why we should kill our friends? Right, you guys like, are trying to defend, not to kill yeah. anyone, but to defend your land. Yes, like a few guys at me, uh, if Ukrainian will win, will they go for whole Russia or just stay on your territory? I think uh, maybe it may happen that Vladimir Zelensky tell us that no, we will not attack Russia, but our soldiers may don't listen to him. They can, they want to, I don't know, re regretness? Uh, revenge. Uh, revenge. Revenge, yeah, revenge. Yeah. And they will attack Moscow. And I think it could happen, but our people are crazy when are, they are met. So, yeah, I mean, you guys are fighting for everything, right? You're, for you're everything, lives, yeah. Your we can't close home. anything, so we will fight. Yeah. Russians yeah. are fighting for nothing, right? Because everyone hates Russia now. Not maybe especially Russian, but Putin, and yes. maybe some people hate Russian as me. And uh, and uh, the Russian fight for nothing, but Ukrainian fighting for their independence, for our independence. Yes, for absolutely. Everything. I for mean, their family. Yeah. Your people who have who are older than you, obviously, I mean, I know your country is relatively young because before it was part of the Soviet Union, but there are people, even your president, who lived in the area when it was part of the Soviet Union, and they know mm. what it's like to not have full freedom, and they don't want to ever go back to that again. Yeah, they don't want to back it because Ukrainian had uh, freedom, has freedom, mm -hmm. but Russian maybe doesn't understand where it is so yeah like russia will be like north korea to be that's honest that's what that's it's even, funny you say that i think that too in, you might be even worse than yes it. i think you're right because they've really isolated themselves now and made themselves hated you know russia the state the government hated among <laughs> the world now for what they've done and i think it will be like north korea again um or worse like you said absolutely well, I don't want to take up your whole day because I know it's later in the no, afternoon. It's okay. I it's so appreciate you. One last mm. thing I want to ask that just kind of mm. to make it end on a more uplifting, positive note. What are some of your favorite hobbies that you like to do? Some of your interests and stuff that you do in your free time? Coding and soccer. Yeah. Note that I think will resonate with a lot of the kids here because it's the same, same yeah. things they like to do. So, well, Oleg, I really, really appreciate you um, doing this for me. Um, it's been really amazing to talk to you and get your experience and what you've gone through, your family's gone through and continue to go through. And we are praying and hoping for you. And obviously we'll stay in touch, of course. And um, I just really, really appreciate you taking the time to talk to my students. Okay. Another interview I can make for you when Ukraine will win. Yes. Please, yes. Then I will smile and I will talk. And yeah, then I, I love better. that. And I know we both talked about my husband and I, like we've already set aside money. We want to come over there and help rebuild. And I'm hoping by the summer, you know, I'm, I'm a teacher. We get summers off. Yes, here. that's great. That's, that's a teacher from, where are you from? From Massachusetts. Uh, Massachusetts, yes. I can't pronounce it. Just I. It's hard. There's people here that can't pronounce it. <laughs> It's hard. I would say you're from USA. Just yes. a teacher from USA who wants to help Ukraine, who is so far away. So that's that's really great. It seems just people wants want to help us. That's great. Even who does didn't know about Ukraine before, help right now. That's important. Yes, yeah. I think we need every everyone, and that's what I'm trying to do my part too. Like I feel helpless. I want to do more, but I think if I can at least talk to my students about what's going on and raise awareness and. Like I said, the summertime, hopefully, fingers crossed, right when you guys kick the Russians out of there, we can come over and help rebuild. And rebuild and help. help. Make yeah. it even more beautiful than it was before. I never yes. had a chance then to it will Ukraine, be, but... It will be new Ukraine. It will exactly. be new Ukraine for everyone, for, for this world, because but the government politics left the country. So we'll not back the, we'll not uh, uh, take them back. No, I if think they left. They left. So they're gone. Yep. Yeah. I think you guys are going to be stronger and better than you've ever been before going forward. Yes. I really do believe that. 
So, well, I hope you take good care of yourself. We will talk, of course. Um, of course, and you can communicate. Always. Yes, absolutely. And yeah. your English is fantastic. It's so easy to understand. And I'm still trying to learn Ukrainian on my phone on Duolingo. Whatever, and I have, yeah. I have a notebook with what certain letters sound like because they don't sound like English letters. <laughs> of course, if you need help, you can message me. You have yes, I am going to yeah. practice all my Ukrainian with you. <laughs> so okay, sure. I can speak a little when I come over there. <laughs> that would yeah, be great. I, as I told you before, the Ukrainian are speak English. So yes, yes, they so understand. That will help. Of course, you. they have accents like me, but you will understand. Of course, yeah. absolutely. No Everyone accent. has accents. So, yes, yeah. I mean, when I start, I'm sure when I try to practice my Ukrainian, I will have an accent too. So. But you, you say it's uh, Tata and Mama without yeah, accent. Yeah, yeah, Tata and Mama. That's great. Yes, That's... Dad and Mom. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much. Um, I am going to message you on Instagram after this. We'll talk on there, but I'm going to stop the recording and everything. And I hope you have a good rest of your evening. Thank you. I was really happy to talk to everyone, like, yeah, to no. tell the truth, what is really going on, because as I said before, we are so far away and so we need, we, everyone needs to know the truth.